Hey everyone, it's Rance Xavier, logging on to make awesome videos one at a time, and here we are with another episode of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. There was a bit of a hiccup in the gym battle against, uh, <clears throat> against Brock, so I've decided to amend the rules going forward. All you hardcores, give me a break. This is my first Nuzlocke, okay? And I don't have, and I don't got anybody to, like, straighten me out or cheer me on yet. Anyways, let's get started in battle. Oh, you saw me in Viridian Forest, eh? Hmm. Hold on a minute. See, I'm also doing my laundry at the same time. That's just the unfortunate perks of, you know, living in a low middle income place. Uh, let me see. I think I just might not keep out Homer for the rest of the f rest of the fight. Maybe that way he'll f he'll be able to learn a <clears throat> quick attack. Nope. Uh oh. Whew. Good grief, it's still that one line hit point. Oh, please don't. Oh, please don't. Thank Arceus. Oh? Do do do. And. Nah, I'm good. Besides, Kyrie don't give out that much experience anyhow. <laughs> good grief. Good gravy, just all this... That is one resilient Caterpie. That sloshing is a bit distracting. One second. I think I shall leave it off for the rest of the playthrough. For the rest of the episode. Beat him again. I guess I did beat him. I guess I did already fight him once. Anyways, let's check out my Pokemon. Good old Monkey Fist, Homer, Livewire, Miss Frisbee, and Slash. <laughs> no, Bella! The cat stepped on the, uh, like, stepped all over the the cord of the GameCube controller, and I, I couldn't move it. 332, 51, 156, 159, 57. So I gotta evolve those two. I mean, level them up. <laughs> no, Bella. This cat really likes to rub up against everything and try and topple it over. Oh, totally forgot I have the running shoes. Wait, no, the Pokemon Center's not that way, stupid. Hey, stop that. We still haven't caught our sixth Pokemon yet, but I have a feeling I know what it's going to be. It's going to be something in Mount Moon, or something on Route 3. And let's check one. Yeah, there's our first badge, and we got 2,000 back. No, we go up.
Oh, is this gonna be... Well, he's not Joey, but he's definitely got the whole... I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Oof. Oh, this is interesting. Rattata's tackle keeps missing. Well, okay, now it didn't. Level up. Yes. Uh, let's bring out the big boy. Let's go slash. Well, fortunately for you, Water Gun isn't a physical attack. But that wrap's gonna be tricky, though. Thankfully, it's not nearly as bad as it was in Gen 1. And... Dang, it's still hanging in there. And... Nice! Well, believe it, kid. You got stomped. Though I have to admit, you put up a good fight. That's like a bug catcher, so I'll put Homer first in the party. Since fighting types don't do that much against bug types. Well, yes, I am a train. Let the battle be joined. I can totally imagine Dinowad saying that if he was a Pokemon trainer. Although I don't know if I should make that reference because I didn't watch Beast Wars growing up. Oh, Kakuna! They give mucho experience. And the best part, all they know is hard and... Nice crit! Down and out. I think this is the level. Yes! Quick attack! Hmm. I think I should level up Miss Frisbee, though. Yeah, just three quick attacks should do it. That'll get her back up to that'll get her up to level nine. All my Pokemon should be at least level ten by now. I blame myself. It's my own fault as a trainer. But now she's level nine. How many spiritual points does everyone have now? Let's see. 220, 195, 156, 275, 187, so... Let's see about Livewire. She needs some love in this episode. Mind the thunder shock's the only damaging attack she can do, but the whole tail whip thunder wave, the whole thunder wave tail whip combo sure will sure help, especially early in the game. Just not enough. Let's do another bug catcher. Then I'll get the lass up there and the youngster down there. Bug catcher James.
Homer's almost as strong as Slash now. I've discovered that's a typical thing with me and my bird Pokemon. I almost immediately raise them to be as strong as my starters. For whatever reason, I've never figured out what that is. Maybe just because there's so many bugs early on. Let's get Mr. Frisbee some experience. This may take a bit. You know, I've always wondered the mechanics of how that, of how the whole stat boosting, stat lowering moves worked. And uh, still not enough. Yeah, done like dinner. Let's switch home around for live wire. Let's see what we got. But that could be taken a number of ways, and none of them are good. worth it. Slash. Do something. Oh, enough for her to get to level seven, level 11. Yeah, let's get rid of... Tail whip. Unfortunately, I have no psychic types with me or ground types, so I'm gonna have to take my chances. Knock it out. Yes. I am nice. We're just in a battle. Now time to go get healed up. Yes, please. Well, good for you. Now, back to the 
action. But first, before I leave Pewter, let's, let's see, we got three potions, three antidotes. More than enough Pokeballs. I say two more potions. That should do it. Just in case. Because once we run into Mount Moon... Alright, no getting off that crazy train. Let's see. Switch out live wire for Monkey Fist. I'm the main character. Oh, that is the worst matchup. That was a horrible matchup. I really need to do some research into these people. Uh oh. Duh oh! No! 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 But she was my only shot at beating Misty! I'm going to kill you. This is wrong. This is wrong! What am I doing?! You haven't paid nearly enough. Give me your blood! I, I need a moment to process this. That was my only shot at beating Misty. start this knowing the consequences I'm sorry I'm not happy I'm not happy at all I was the only Pikachu, only way to get Pikachu in the whole game. And now I don't even know what the heck I'm going to encounter out here. I need to pause for a moment. One hour later. Okay, after much soul searching and a little bit of scouring the pages of Bulbapedia to see what Pokemon that could possibly beat Misty at that level, I have decided, as well as checking out other Nuzlocke variants, that in order to preserve my in order to preserve my sanity, I am establishing a second clause rule. A se a second chance clause. For every gym badge I earn, one Pokemon can be brought back. And right now, 
This is my one. So now after this, I have no chances until I earn Misty's badge to bring back any fallen Pokemon. I'm sorry if I keep ch changing and adding rules. A, this is my first Nuzlocke. B, why do, why do I keep doing that? B, I'm just... I'm not sure I want to do this. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. You! Okay, it's not the same one, but still. I'm taking no chances. Bubble beam, or water gun, whatever. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Well, that area just got locked. Oh well. Hurry up. Gotta go kick Team Rocket's butt and get everybody leveled up so they don't die. Now this time I'm actually using the guidebook, so... I mean, you know, the information on Bulbapedia. Now let me just pull this up on my phone. Level 14 Jigglypuff, eh? Why do I keep... Why do I keep doing that? Oh my. Well, time to swap out. As if it wasn't bulky enough. Alright. Withdraw. Oh no. Well, at least he was able to get one bulk up in. Stressing me out. Thank goodness I've got water. <laughs> oh, sweet, level 10. From my understanding, there is no other trainer battle around here.
but just in case. Really? It looks more like a clipboard than a newspaper. Huh. Mm. Yeah, something smells uh, fishy about that. Huh? Yeah, who wouldn't want to be like Brock? There might be hidden items around here. But instead of just tapping into every rock I see, let's take a look at... Let's see. Oh, there's an Orenberry around here. I mean, not on Route 4, but... Back on Route 3. Says just before Youngster came. Yup, there it is. Looks like that's the only item on Route, on, uh, route 3. That's for Route 4. There! That is a... Persimberry. See, south of easternmost ledge on a marked square. says there's a raspberry somewhere on here. South of the easternmost ledge, south of the road near the center of the road. Oh, that must be on the other side. Never mind. Just in case I run into a pesky Zubat. Mount Moon. Here we go. Oh. First encounter is a... Zubat. Will we catch it? We're about to find out.
Quick attack. Pokeball. Zubat Ghetto does A. A good nickname for a Zubat. A lesser Nuzlocke would probably name it Edward. Loser. I, on the other hand, being an intellectual, have something much better in mind. So... Kune. Now let's get out of here and heal you up, Skune. Just like in the manga, you've got a lot of training to do. For those of you who don't know, I named him after the uh, male lead in the manga series Rosario plus Vampire. Yeah, he's he's the male lead in what can best be described as a supernatural harem anime that that is tons better in the manga than it is in the anime. First off. Livewire is going to get a whole bunch of speed EVs. And it's going to level up like crazy. one resilient little bugger. I'll give it that. Okay, there's nothing up here other than a trainer. Oh! And a paralyze heal. <sighs> and a geodude. Thankfully, they don't know any Rock-type moves until level 15. And they're dual weak to water! Ah, yes. Uh, I swear, I just might have to... Okay, now that's just not fair. The collector in me is screaming that I can't catch this Clefairy. Good. Hope you like pain. Hmm. I can always imagine, though, that it's, uh... Like that weird Deadpool like Clefairy from the Pocket Monsters manga. That looks like a bug catcher, so I'll swap out with Homer and Yep. I'm your worst nightmare, you little brat. Ugh. Good gravy. A 
Okay, so after this, this little kid's gonna have a... Uh-oh. Whew! That was close. A Weedle. Then he's gonna have a Kakuna. And since all Kakuna knows is Harden... I'm gonna shift it out with Skune. This might take a minute. And you can only use Astonish if you do a certain number of times. And I don't really remember if ghost types counted as physical moves or special moves. Ugh, wacky pre-gen form mechanics, I swear. Well, at least Scooney's gonna get a whole bunch of experience for this. Thank goodness that, uh... AI Kakuna can only use Harden. Right on the next to last one. And... Just not enough. Well, that just beat all. Let's see. Swap out for Livewire again. Just to chase off any... Pesky Zubat. Let's get everybody to the Pokemon Center. There's five more trainers on this level. Uh-oh. There's a super nerd there who's got all electric Pokemon. But f Make that six, because I totally forgot about this girl with the Clefairy. Thunder Wave. Oh no! Not again. Live wire, you're out. Slash, you're in. Wouldn't it be hysterical if that Clefairy used Encore on Withdrawal? Lucky for you, water type. Lucky for me. <coughs> Not lucky for you. Water types don't count as physical attacks. Alright, I think three is enough. Water gun. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, we've got Growl, Encore. Ha! Stinks to be you. Growl, Encore, Double Slap, and Sing. Oof. Now 
nice crit slash. You're using that good eye, I see. How am I gonna beat those that Magnemite Voltorb combo? I don't have any ground types. Though truth be told, I don't even know if. First off, there you go, live wire. Yes, hello. the ladder. Okay, so no leveling past level 21. I was checking to see what level Misty Star Me was, because I'm enacting the no leveling past gym leader's ace as well. And yeah, not much of it. As long as I don't up level up my Pokemon past level 20, level 21, I should be okay. Thank goodness Leech Life doesn't do as much back then as it does now. Ugh. Leech Life got majorly buffed in a Generation 7. Ha. Nice. Oh! Bug Catcher! Which means... Homer, swap out. Hmm. <sighs> Yep, bug catcher Robby. First a caterpie, then a metapod, and then another caterpie. Then after the trainers on this floor, it's going to be about. Four Team Rocket Grunts. And the, uh... And the Super Nerd Miguel, who wants to stop you from taking his fossils. And will agree to only let you take one. Should use Quick Attack. Oh well. Trying to save up my gusts. Ugh. No, I do not want to change Pokemon because I'm pretty sure I'm close to leveling up again.
even though it wouldn't give me much. Yes, you lost. Oh, what's this? A rare candy! Well. Now what? Thank goodness there's more Zubat in here than... Geodude. wire back in front. I'm also going to uh, freshen her up a little bit. An escape rope. Nice. Slash, you're up. <laughs> Man, Jude stinks so much. I can just take him out with a bubble. Boom. <sighs> that looks like. Hiker Marcos. In which case, I'd better swap him, swap Livewire out with Slash. Or he could just be someone who's working with Brock. In story. And that looks like uh, looks like a wild zoo bed, but the trainer girl looks like she's going to be Last Miriam, who's got the Oddish and the Bell Sprout. Ha <laughs> normal type. Could this be the time? No, not quite. Yeah, no joke. It's bigger because you can actually run in here now, as opposed to Gen 1, where you had to walk everywhere. I mean, like, walk really, really, really slow. Yeah, it don't do much. It's a flying type, and you're a grass type. Nope. Careful there, young man. I've got this mech got this microphone on the table. Yes, you have quite lost it. Now then to find the other trainer around here, there's... All there is just Youngster Josh and... Mr. Josh, Hiker Marcos, and Super Nerd Joven. Ugh, 
I forgot how exhausting this trek is. I mean, a trek through any cave is exhausting. Especially when you've obliged yourself to beat the snot out of every Pokemon you encounter. There he is. Hmm. Since it's a normal type. That's what you get, son. That's what you get. seems pretty exhausted, so I'll swap her out. Now that she's leveled up to level 13. I'll swap her out with Monkey Fist. Question now, am I gonna let Slash evolve? Because I kind of want Slash to learn Hydro Pump. But at the same time... Let's do the long game. Why did I go backwards? Wow! Now she's strong enough to take a Zubat in one hit. There he is. The last trainer in the whole place. Well, she's strong enough to take out level 7 Zubat. I'm getting up closer to the microphone just so you can hear me better. And so I can hear me better. <sighs> Let's switch out Livewire with Slash. First I want to check out that item. 
after I can take care of this annoying Zubat. Down and out. A Moonstone. That's interesting. I'm gonna pause the uh I turned on the washing machine again, but it didn't get loud enough for me until uh, that happened. Yes, I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. Thank you for taking notice. Bubble. He likes bubbles. I'm going to do a little challenge for myself. I'm going to try and get Slash up to level 42. Since he's not going to change typing when he evolves. Like later, Water Starters would. And I'm going to teach... I'm going to teach Slash Hydro Pump. is pretty fast at that stage. But, dual typing. use my potions conservatively now. How much money do I have? I'm all the way back up to 3,600. I'm going to be a little extra careful. Especially all in rocket grunts. A bug and grass type, huh? Oh, great. Freaking Paris. No more paralyzed, thank you very much. Gets, when he gets to the evolution level, I will let him evolve. You know, I think a lot of my weaknesses earlier on in, the, in some of the other games was that I just never... Never used the items I found out in the field because I thought they were really, you know, precious and stuff. But now I'm just like... You have items, use them. Let's see... The possibility is that this rocket grunt... has 
was anywhere from Sandshrew, Britanna, Zubat, Ekans, Britanna, Britanna, Sandshrew, Britanna, Zubat, Zubat, Ekans, or Sandshrew, Britanna, and Zubat. I think Slash can handle it. He led with Rattata, so either he's going to follow with Zubat, or... Oh, shoot. I should have healed up Slash before this. Switch it out to Homer because grass uh, ground type attacks can't hurt him. On the other hand, on the other hand, uh, Sanch. First off, Sandshrew, if it has any ground type attacks, they can't hurt Homer. On the other hand, there is that defense curl. That's going to be difficult to get around. Sometimes doing this by the seat of my pants can work. Other times I just really like having a guidebook. Or, you know, like just a guide in general. Excuse me. Oh, that's not good. But it keep, it's now consistently missing. Or not. main three powerhouses right now are really worn down. I'm using the escape rope to get back to the Pokemon Center, heal everybody up, and then go back in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody neat and pretty to rush, refreshed and ready to go. On with the show. Atta boy slash. Down the hole. Never underestimate the enemy. Yeah, 
and the starter out in front. Well, let's just see about that, bub. Oh, yep, this guy is gonna lead with Santro. Bubble. Bubble again. Soon enough, I hope that bubble is going to be replaced by a uh, hydro pump. Now it's going to be replaced with bite. to forget water gun? It didn't say water gun, it said bubble. Guess I'll just have to find some mushrooms and go to the move reminder. Monkey fist. Live wire. Light him up. Like a Christmas tree. I think after this, there's only three trainers left in the whole cave. Counting those other two rocket grunts. Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I want him to learn Hydro Pump to make up for water gun water gun's loss. A star piece? That's gonna make me some good bank. Wonder how much damage bite will do. A lot. I should have erased tackle with bite. We go. But first, another battle. No, it is a shame. You've got to be kidding. Oh wait, that's right, I can't go there that way. Bubble. Can't believe I forgot water, can't believe I erased water gun with bite. And the only water type it move, learn, move it learns until hydro pump is 
Rain Dance. Oh, shoot, I could just walk right down there. <sighs> Besides, once Slash gets to level 21, that's the level cap until until I beat Misty's gem. <coughs> I want to get the item. Whatever item it is. On the plus side, he's gonna get a lot of speed IVs. Uh, EVs. You're born with IVs. You earn EVs, you... Claude. You call yourself a pseudo-competitive trainer? Uh-oh. It's the nerd. But I don't think Magnemite learns any electric type moves until much later. But it is still a steel. I spoke too soon! Low kick! It's gonna be heavy! Oh, phew, and it leveled up! You rock, buddy! And it learned Karate Chop! You didn't even get the chance. Thank goodness. Now I'm gonna swap out Livewire with Slash. We should keep the Zubat at bay. A potion. That was it? Side, I do need a potion, but I'm already close enough to the entrance. So I think I'm just gonna go for the Pokemon Center. All right, level 14. Now let's get out of here.
right as I'm getting to the entrance. The meme is true. It's absolutely true. These Arceus cursed Giratina blessed Zubat. Okay, here we go again. This time you know where you're going. Well, I mean, I know where I'm going. I should think. Sorry, just looking at the map again. Never hurts to look at the map. go. Oh no wait, we've already been there. There's nothing else there. Whoopsie. You can't paralyze me. You can't paralyze me. But I can paralyze you. Just as I was right there. Oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna use this to train Monkey Fist. Tackle, big deal. Karate chop. Why does Geodude even learn Mud Sport to weaken electricity power? It's immune to it. That's the dumbest thing ever. Well, one of the dumbest things ever. Alright. This guy I'm not messing around with. Slash. Switch out. make me get lost. <laughs> Darn, now I wish I kept live wire in. Why did this stupid game erase water gun? 
water gun. Could be worse, could be worse. I think there's only one run left after this. Well, I guess I am good. At least I like to think so. This is TM forty six. Thief. Huh. How appropriate. Which means this is the only staircase that can lead out of here. You'd think I'd have learned by now not to put, to switch out Slash so he doesn't get nailed by Paris. Turns. Think I've learned my lesson by now. Think that I somehow figured out. Well, it turns out I haven't learned a thing. Alright, I'm switching back to Livewire. After this battle, of course. Nice. Darn it, Aaron. Well, let me guess. The next wild Pokemon encounter is going to be a... Well, yeah, no dirt. Yep, I knew it was going to be a Geodude. Why me? And why do you know Mud Sport? You are immune to electric type attacks. It makes absolutely zero sense. Zubat. Light him up, Livewire. Let's get you up to level 20, at least. Uh-oh. Please don't hit yourself. Thank goodness. low level enough that I think I can safely use Monkey Fist Toe. Let's start with a low kick. Now Karate Chop. Down and out. Hmm. 
Thunder Shock. That's good to have days like this. Where a trainer can just sit back, relax, and ride. But once I get out of here, this episode's gonna over because I just said I'd make these episodes shorter, but this is way too long. Let's see, double team? Let's forget Growl and learn double team. The last rocket grunt. You know, you could just sell the fossils themselves. Oof. A little bit too low to, uh... Uh oh I mean, I know Hyper Fang doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but still, those do 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 animations always spook me. I'm not risking it. I risked it once, and I'm not gonna risk it again. Besides, it's almost like an unwritten rule of Pokemon games that you have to have your starter ridiculously overleveled. Although in Nuzlocke, that is not the case. Okay, so nothing there. Thankfully, I do now have an extra potion, so... I just kind of figured there was going to be a hidden moonstone somewhere around here. Ugh. Once again, I wish I hadn't forgotten freaking water gun. Uh, maybe when I get the surf TM, I'll teach him that. <clears throat> Over bubble. I hope I've got an antidote in my bag. Oh, this always makes me so nervous. Oh, 
almost makes you wish Volt Absorb was a thing in this game. I mean, it, it technically is, but Pikachu doesn't have any hidden abilities until generation. Hidden abilities aren't a thing until, like, generation 5, I think. I mean, we just introduced abilities in general. My other strongest Pokemon. I swear, if I was going to have another poison Pokemon... I was going to scream. Oh, that was tough. But I got Livewire up to level 16! Yes! Yeah, darn right you better share. Kabuto, or, oh, shoot, I forgot. S sorry, Slash, totally forgot about your buddy. <sighs> Kabuto, or a Paris. Kabutor Omanite. Kabutor Omanites. Hmm. Best way to decide this is with a coin toss. I've got my Lugia coin with me. So if it's Lugia, I pick Omanite. If it's the Pokeball upside down, it's gonna be Kabuto. Coin toss! Ammonite it is. Praise Lord Helix. <laughs> I'm gonna sh shift to live wire because wait wait what okay you know what screw it I'm going back to Slash. to this item. It's an antidote. Go up. 
hang out. I know those two are not trainers. I'm free. I'm free. Oh, that looks like a berry spot. Yep, there's the raspberry. And that's TMO5 Roar. And I made it to Cerulean City in one piece. <sighs> Just stab me for that good poke healing juice, Nurse Joy. Alright, I'm gonna stop this episode right now. Good grief. And I'll see you all next time. This is Francis saying good, good morning. <laughs>